Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the Head Graphene 360 Plus Extreme Racket Review. This review deals with the entire series of rackets, except the Extreme Light, the MP Light, which I haven't tried yet, but it deals with the Pro, the Tour, the MP and the S rackets. So, four new rackets with the Plus technology, um, an update from the Graphene 360. The Plus means spiral fibers which improve the feel of the prestige and the speed rackets and also uh, create a really nice feel in the um, gravity frames. So I think this is also another solid update. Head have, have really improved their uh, rackets over the last year or so and the spiral fibers is one of the reasons for that. It seems that the layup is a lot softer, a bit more connected. It's just a, bit, a big improvement, especially for the extreme where the previous extreme was a fun racket with a lot of power, a lot of spin but a little bit too stiff and jarring uh, in, in the end for a lot of players with uh, wrist and elbow issues. Uh, this one is a lot more comfortable. All of these rackets are, are pretty dampened for uh, powerful and spin-friendly rackets. So this is definitely something you should check out if you want more free power and spin from your racket. Uh, so let's start by looking at the specs and the tech of these frames. Technologies are included as such as spin shaft, uh, spin pattern, spin grommets and power grommets. Uh, it's all about spin here. It's about creating the frame that creates the maximum amount of spin. Um, more open patterns in some of the models. The Pro and the Tour are still pretty closed. They have these spin grommets which allow for more string movement so that uh, it creates more snapback and more spin. But it also comes with power grommets and power grommets create more movement on the vertical plane. So this racket is very lively with all this string movement happening on both main and cross strings. Sometimes a bit too lively for all of these frames. The Tor is definitely the more controlled one with a 98 square inch head size. I find the Pro also pretty, pretty good when it comes to control due to the tighter string pattern. But these are very lively rackets. So if you need help with some more depth and uh, some more, um, more spin and height over the net. I think these frames is, are a definite demo, especially because they are pretty comfortable. The other brands, uh, similar models are obviously Pure Aero, uh, the Dunlop CX line, Yonex V-Core, and the other brands probably have, have a spin-oriented line as well. It really creates a lot of rotations on the ball, and that's not always a great thing because it does create a very lively feel especially if you're a flat hitter but if you hit with a lot of spin i think you really enjoy these frames so let's go through them now uh, one by one and we'll start with the pro so the pro is the heavier of the bunch actually weighs 315 grams unstrung it has a beam of 23 26 and 21 millimeters standard length has a tighter 16 19 string pattern compared to the mp version uh, I tried mine strung with Head Hawk and Head Lynx Tour. I preferred it with Lynx Tour, to be honest. String tension around 54, 55 pounds, which is around 50, 25 kilos. And uh, my strung specs with Hawk was 334 grams, 32.3 centimeter balance, and a 327 swing weight. I really like rackets around 330 in swing weight, so this was uh, close to perfect for me in, in terms of, uh, of weight. The extra heft of this frame creates, makes it the most stable of the bunch. Uh, the racket does require good technique to get it moving. Uh, I find the tighter string bed to be a really good thing. It was easier to get control on flatter shots and volleys than the MP. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It, it's uh, together with the Tour, this is the one I like the most. So if you are an advanced player who want a powerful frame that can offer good spin without being a complete rocket launcher, the Extreme Pro is a great choice. It's very stable, powerful, but still pretty comfortable. I did not sense any arm issues with this frame uh, with any of the string setups I tried. And I did love the extra pop it gave me on serve, even if I'm not as active with my legs as uh, I tend to be, because it's uh, like 35 degrees Celsius right now playing in Malta. And um, it could still give, give me some good pace on my serve and plenty of spin also if you hit like a kick serve. So, and the sweet spot is obviously bigger than the tour version. So if you're into, if you want a real weapon from the baseline, if you're happiest from the baseline, I mean, if you play with spin, uh, this frame could be very interesting to try 
The pro version is endorsed by Jan Leonard Struff. It's actually used by him as far as I understand as well, but he customizes his frame a little bit so it's not in stock form. But this is the mold that he's actually using. And uh, very nice frame, a little bit too powerful for me in the end, and uh, so it's not something I could switch to. I'm playing a bit better with the smaller head sizes, 95 to 97. But if you're into 100 square inch racket that gives you some extra pace and spin without creating too much of a rocket launcher or sending too many vibrations down your arm uh, and making it a harsh experience, this frame is great. It's a great choice. Uh, users of the Pure Aero Tour and these kind of frames should check this one out. It, it's a really nice frame. Um, so that's a bit about the Pro. Next up we have the Extreme Tour. It's a new member of the Extreme family, 98 square inch head size and a thinner beam. Makes it into something more uh, resembling I think a Radical Pro, a little bit more lively Radical Pro. Uh, a larger head size usually improves racket stability, so I felt like this frame needed some extra weight in the hoop. It was a little bit unstable in stock form, at least in my taste. Uh, my racket came strong with Headhawk at... One, uh, Headhawk at uh, 54 pounds, it's, um, it was 327 grams, 32 centimeter balance and 324 swing weight. A little bit low, I added some weight at 12, it still didn't feel um, as um, stable as I wanted it. And then I added lead tape at 3 and 9 instead, removed the tape at 12, got it up to 330 swing weight range, which is my personal favorite, and then it played really, really nicely. Uh, so uh, in stock form I, I felt like it was a bit unstable. Uh, that 90, 98 square inches um, need a little bit more weight. This is 305 grams on strong with 31.5 uh, centimeter balance. Pretty thin beam, 22, 23, and 21 millimeter, and a pretty tight 60, 19 string pattern. So this is the most controlled frame in the extreme lineup. Uh, very good if you're into kind of a blade, but you want more power and spin out of it. So. Uh, or a V-Core 98, this has kind of a similar muted feel to the Pure Strike, uh, I would say, and uh, also similar power levels, so it's, it's in that territory of rackets. And I did prefer it with Headhawk Touch at around 53-54 pounds, gave me a bit more control and some comfort, I really like the Hawk Touch string, it's what my, probably my favorite head string, and, uh, but I did not get the same power on serves uh, with the tour as I do with the Pro and the MP extremes but for if you want more control if you want to be a little bit more uh, connected on flatter shots I think this one is the way to go a uh, really nice frame it's still a little bit lively when it comes to especially volleying I, I struggled with all of these frames at the net so that was not my favorite part of it but um, overall it, it's a very nice racket if you like a bit more power and spin but more control than a 100 square inch racket would give you. I especially enjoy a 98 square inch head size when it comes to my 100 back end. I feel like it's easier to swing through the ball and um, connect with it properly than with a 100 square inch. So for that style of play, it's, it seems to su suit better, I think. And an interesting new addition to uh, the lineup of head rackets. Still pretty lively, but definitely more controlled than the rest. So that's it for the tour, a uh, nice frame, nice new addition, uh, really an interesting demo uh, if you're into uh, a bit more controlled spin and power frames. Uh, very similar to the Pure Aero VS I would say, I don't know which one I would pick out of these two, they're both great rackets for spin oriented player. I'm not quite there uh, with my spin game, I'm more of a flatter hitter so I don't think either the extreme or aero lines are uh, for my game but if, if you're into that kind of style of racket, you should definitely demo this one. So over to the MP. The MP line is usually what most uh, intermediate and club level players use. It's very similar to the Pro in this case, has a lighter static weight, slightly more open string pattern for even more spin. The strong specs of mine reveal actually a higher swing weight, so they were 321.6 uh, grams, 33.3 centimeter balance, so it's getting closer to even balance and a 333 swing weight, so it's still, it still makes it very stable uh, on uh, most shots, uh, quite powerful this frame. Uh, it's in the family of, of best sellers like Babla Pure Aero, of course, the Dunlop SX300, those frames are both good. This one is very nice too, I think the comfort is a bit better than the Aero, uh, similar to the Dunlop, and it's very very spin friendly, a little bit too much at times, I felt it was quite hard to not get the ball to fly um, when you hit a flatter shot and I struggle a little bit when it 
comes to volleys, as I said before. So if you are a flatter hitter, I think they're a better racket. As if you want a head racket, for example, you can check out the gravity line or the prestige. But if you like to hang out from the baseline and hit heavy balls over to your opponent, the extreme line could be very interesting for you. And the MP1 was definitely very, very spin friendly. A little bit too much for my take. It was a little bit high launch angle. So in my case, I prefer the Pro for 100 square inch racket or the Tor. But uh, this one is the one that give, will give you easy power and spin. Pretty maneuverable despite the high swing weight. And um, an interesting frame if you're into power and spin. Over to the S. The S is the powerhouse of the new Extreme Rackets. I think they're all pretty powerful. This one is oversized light, a lot of weight in the head, 105 square inches, 275 grams on strung with an even balance. So when you add strings, you're gonna get it up to a head heavy frame. 23, 26 and 22 millimeter balance, very open string pattern. This is a power frame. I'm definitely not the target group for this racket. I did have to shorten my swing uh, quite a bit, slow down the swing speed a little bit for, to get the balls to, to land in. When I did that, it was uh, pretty easy to use this frame. I could definitely see this as a kind of game improvement frame for veteran and doubles players with shorter swings. Then it could really give you the extra depth and spin without it being too harsh on the arm. So for those players, I think this frame is very interesting. If you're into an oversized frame, you want a huge sweet spot, plenty of power, plenty of spin. I think this frame is interesting. If you want any kind of control, I would not choose this one. I really felt like I needed to adapt my game to this racket to get the balls to land within the lines but it's obviously not made for me this is uh, the s line uh, of head rackets are usually um, a more of a game improvement style shorter swings where you need a bit more uh, stuff for free uh, and it doesn't require as much of the users as the smaller head sizes or the heavier models the racket uh, was used strong mainly with head hawk uh, i prefer head hawk touch in it to be honest but head hawk was the racket I measured it with. So 300 grams strong, 34.5 centimeter balance and a 318.5 swing weight. I think these specs are very good uh, game improvement specs. I think this is pretty much spot on for players who want extra depth on their shots with still a very maneuverable weight. And it's not too unstable thanks to the 318 swing weight. Uh, it's pretty pretty good range of swing weight for a frame like this. So this one is a nice frame, just not for me. And if you're into uh, game improvement frames and you need a racket to bring you that extra power and spin, check this one out. To summarize about the Head Graphene 360 Plus Extreme Rackets, they're all very lively. Uh, that's uh, I prefer more dead feel from the string bed, so they're not made for me, for sure. Uh, so if you're into spin, if you're into power, the game is getting faster, it requires uh, more from the equipment to get more out of pace out of the equipment these frames are really easy to use really easy to get into i did not sense any issues with stiffness or harshness which i sometimes do with the these types of frames so the dampening does a good job it's not the most connected experience uh, i do struggle at net to get the, the launch angle down to get the control i want from from my shots uh, I don't have the best volleys in the world, but this, if I'm comparing it to other frames. And uh, so it's it's not a frame for you who can generate a lot of your own power and uh, who, who wants more precision out of your frames. But if you have shorter swings or if you just want some more help from your frame or if you're a big hitter like Struff, like Berettini, uh, those kind of big guys who, who want to hit with massive power, massive spin. Uh, the Pro and the Tour are really interesting choices for you to check out. Really recommend them. You can also get the MP if you want even more rotations on the ball. If I would critique these frames, it would probably be that I think they made them a little bit too lively. 
Uh, the ball does sail a little bit, uh, especially for for my taste. Uh, also talking to some tennis friends, they are they are very very spin focused, and I would say maybe perhaps too much at times. Uh, but I did really enjoy them, and I was very happy that they did not bring any issues to my arm. And uh, especially the pro and the tour, if you're a more advanced player, I think you really should check them out if you need a bit more pace. And a lot of players are asking. Um, for more power out of their frames these days. That's what I see in the racket consultations I give. Uh, you see comfort, you see control, and you see power, but I'm, I'm seeing an increase at players, even on ad advanced 5.5 and upwards, NTRP level would like more pace out of their frames. So uh, then the extreme line is doing a good job, and we're seeing the frames move more and more into this direction. So if you're into that, spin and power, and you can hit with plenty of topspin, Check this one out if you're a flat-oriented player who likes to have more precision out of your frame, more feel, and you like to head to the net. I think there are better frames uh, to check out instead. If you need help around all this in the jungle of tennis rackets, check out my consultation service at tennisnerd.net. And if you want more content like this, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash tennisnerd, where you get a unique vlog, a podcast, and, and more content every week just for patrons. And uh, I hope it's worth your while and you're supporting Tennis Nerd as well. That's it for this review. If you're looking for more power and spin to your game, and if you have a top spin style game, you should check these frames out. They're really nice. That's all. Have a nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis.